Welcome back dear friends inside this class we have a topic this called overflow so open your creator without wasting the time and let's just insert a div here div div and div close let's just use a class here inside this div class let's just say ovr flow overflow as just the short form you can select this go to your inside your style tech dot overflow and you can just define the height something like maybe 230 pixel and you can define a border of 2 pixel solid red border you can save go to your web page and refresh now you can see we have just uh, a new uh, you can say container or div which we have set it the height of this to 230 pixel now I'm just going to uh, copy and paste a lot of text inside this one. So from here you can just copy this called lipsum.com. This is a website from here you can get a uh, dimmy text. So inside this div I'm just going to paste this alt text and save. Now you can see here. So the container or the div that we have used a red border for that is the height of that is 230 pixel there is not enough space but the text is a lot you can see we have a lot of text but not enough space so anyway you want to just store this text inside this container which the height is 230 pixel you can just increase the height from here for example you can just say the height 432 just you can increase the height to any number but this is not the solution if we use here for example overflow and you can just set the value to scroll and you can save now you can see the preview and refresh now you can see the text are uh, formally or normally stored inside this container and you can see we have just a scroll bar that we can see all the text by scrolling top to bottom just like this so for overflow we have a scroll value we have just you can set the auto save and refresh so what is the difference between overflow, overflow uh, you can say scroll and overflow auto right now i have just set it the value to auto you can see on the bottom of this page here you can just focus we don't have any white space for right now but if I'm using here a scroll, scroll and you can save this. Now come here and refresh. So you can see we have just a white space here. You can see this is just the difference between scroll and auto. So I'm just using a scroll auto most of the time. You can save and refresh. So there is one more value for this that you can use here. This is called hidden hidden you can save and refresh now you can see there is no scroll bar because you have just set it the overflow to hidden so you can just see just this much text that appear here so you cannot see the rest of the text which is inside this container if you want to see the text you need to make this available by putting this on auto save and refresh so sometimes we have a scroll bar to the right side just like this that we can scroll from the top to bottom and you can just hide the scroll just like this i'm just going to use here overflow once again so you can see overflow hyphen x and you can just set the value to hidden if you want to just uh, hide the overflow x values hidden just save this and refresh so no result overflow x and x means horizontally it means left to right if you have a scroll bar from here to here it means left to right horizontally but for right now we have just uh, you can see scroll bar here it is not horizontally it is vertically if you want to just hide this you need to put the value instead of x to y you can save this and refresh now you can see this just hidden for right now 
so i'm just telling you in case if you have any time if you want to hide just a horizontal scroll bar so you can just set the value to x here so i'm just going to remove this and the value of this just auto you can save and refresh now we have just a scroll bar here and here you can just uh, open a p tech for example just p open and p close tick the paragraph tick can be closed after all this text here control v or you can just close the p tick so here you can say just the align property you can use here or you can use the style property inside the ptech you can say the text align justify and let's just use some margin and pairing for this margin can be something like 10 pixel and pairing maybe just 10 pixel to save and refresh now you can see you have just space around this text and the text is justify and you can see to the bottom also so i hope you are understand how you can use overflow inside overflow we have auto we have scroll we have hidden overflow horizontally overflow uh, you can say left to right or top to bottom so the value of top to bottom is y so in ne inside next class i will come back I will tell you about the float property just a little bit more. Have a nice time and see you.